Hello and welcome to this episode of Cooking with Carter. Today we're going to do a two-part episode. We're going to do cookies and cream Oreo pudding. And we're also going to do extra chocolate chip and double fudge muffins. So, we've got our handy-dandy mixer out all assorted and ready to go and high-powered. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the Jello Oreo pudding mix. And uh, I've already... Other puddings are available. Yep, we already ripped it open. And I'm going to rip it open a little more. Or just to... Uh, yeah, I thought it was open all the go. way. There you go. It's chunky. It's got cookie bits in it. Yep, it is. Wow. It'll take 20 years for it to come out of there. Yeah. It's still coming out. And it's all... Probably in the future, we'll just rip the whole thing open. And I'm using two packages of this. Oh, and how it smells just like the bars. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to go everywhere. Okay. Yeah, much better when we open it all the way up. There it is. Now, um, the way I'm going to do this, it calls for uh, two cups of milk per package, but I'm actually going to start with two and see how that does, because I like my pudding kind of thick. I don't like it thin, so I'm just going to add a little bit in here. There's the first two cups of milk. Okay, we're going to go down on this. And we're going to start with one. Alright, so we've stopped re we stopped recording there for a moment. The, the, it's not deep enough in the, in the mixer to, to get down to the bottom of the bowl. What I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm actually going uh, to whisk these in here. I'm just going to hand whisk it. So we have the longer mixers now. Someone moved them, and I didn't know. Okay, now we have longer mixers. Well, give try, it a try, try again. Try that again? Yeah. Actually, do it anyway. Also, a bit thicker than you might want. I don't know. I'll try. I don't think I'm going to use quite all the milk. Longer mixer. There we are. Okay, All right. Let's try this again. There it is. Max actually went up a little bit. I don't use the quick brush too much. I'm gonna go up on the speed now. I'm gonna. Actually, while we got the bowl, I'm going to slowly add a wee bit of milk to this. I'm going to center the bowl. That's about uh, three and a half cups now. Uh, it makes pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up a little more. And 
I'm going to go back to hand mixing one more time. can actually do a little bit of both. I, I don't want it to be too thin. I'm just going to tap these and let these uh, kind of drip into that. We can go ahead and remove the mixers out of there, Max, actually. Um, the button to release those mixers a little bit longer, a little bit better. For that, actually, I think they should have made them just a tad longer. Yeah. Um, or a higher bowl. Yep. For everyone. We still got some. We kind of want some stuff because it's cookie and cream. So yeah. Cookie parts in it. That's about as thick as I wanted. I don't know if I want to use no, the remainder of that milk. I think I'll use the remainder of this milk. We'll go ahead and put it back in the fridge there. Uh, how much milk is left there? Uh, we got about a cup and a third. So we need about a cup for the for the muffins. Okay. That is exactly about the consistency that I want right there. What you looking for there, bud? Oh, okay. Kind of container that I see. And you can tell by the thickness by one the way it turns, and by two when it comes off of the beater. You want it to kind of not run, but. They don't want it to get stuck to the beaters. Right, right. If it sticks to the beaters, it's a little too thick. So, that right there is Oreo cookies and cream pudding. Okay, there's the... Get a little... Uh, you know, just to container this, I'll go ahead and have Max actually... You want me to? Uh, just you can. I think I should be all right. Take the bowl there, Max. Yeah. And just perfect size container for that. And Max is just gonna actually. You probably might have to scrape the rest of that out of there, which he's going to do. Now, once that pudding is done, that's all there is to it. You just let it sit. It's honestly going to thicken up as it sits. Uh, we'll wash the bowl out, and that'll be it for the uh, for the pudding mixture. I'll actually taste a little bit on camera here. Okay, let me taste something out of the other thing. Needs to be chilled as well. Chill that for about five minutes. Might have a bowl of pudding is sweet and got the cookie crumbs in there. I like that. Yeah. That's uh, pretty simple. We'll be right back with double fudge chocolate chip muffins. All right, welcome back to the second half of our baking episode, so to speak. Baking, dessert, pudding, something. All right, we're gonna go with it. Now we're gonna do our double stuffed chocolate chip muffins. Uh, what we've got is two basic packs of double chocolate muffin mix. I'm actually going to go with this one first. Okay, we're going to pour this into a bowl. Go ahead and uh, preheat your oven to 425 degrees while all this lovely magic is happening. Max is so eager to help, he tried to take the muffin container out of my, my hand to help out and Just to throw, throw it away. away. that uh, just went into the open pot. smell smell so good mm, chocolate okay now what I like to do is even this out just like that 
Now here's a, a trick for muffins. Whatever it calls for in muffin mix, you've got to be careful because I like my muffins just to be a little bit thin. I don't want them to be too thick because what I do when I finish all of this is I actually will pour my mixture into a measuring cup so that it's easier to, to dispense into my, my um, muffin silicones there. Spray those down thoroughly with cooking spray. Make little lakes at the bottom of the um, muffin containers because if not, they will stick. So what I'm going to do is I've got about a cup and a third here of milk, yeah. of milk 2%. going to use about that much right there. I've got about two-thirds of a cup left. If I need to add more, I will. And we will do. Yeah. Can always add, can never take away. Just like the salt. Sometimes you have to stir both ways to get it to mix in properly. I said stir both ways. Already. Now what you want to do is you want to stir this until all of the powdery mixture has dissipated down. And that can take a little time. Got it just about where I want it. Stir just a little bit longer, just to make sure. Now, I'm gonna add some chocolate chips in here. Hmm? Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and put them in there. We'll dump them in here. And I'll stir it again. What we just discussed was, should we put them in the bottom of the pan, or should we go ahead and just dump them in? We're going to go ahead and just dump them in here. Max is now, whoop, there they go. Max is now making a mess. That's all right. That's what, That's what I'm here for. It wouldn't, be a, it wouldn't be a show if I somehow made a mess doing something. Another handful or two in here. Okay. I can just pour, pour some. Yeah, come on, pour it. And a little more. And a little more. And that should be good. All right. Nice chocolatey. in there. This is all mixed in well. Okay. Now, the tricky part. The fun part. Is, I need to take the spoon there. Throw the spoon in the sink. Are not going to use that? Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. Nope. That's right. I See, remember. he's so used to doing it that way. Everybody does it. Now, you can take a little scooper in there and just, you know... Now, can we pour this into this without getting it everywhere is my question. Whether or not you have an angle of this, folks, I don't know. Okay, now you want to fill these about two-thirds full. That's about two-thirds right there. Two thirds right there. And if you get it more than two thirds, you're all right. That's why we have a hard table that's easy to clean. Yeah, scrape those in there. We're messy on this show, and where is the camera pointing? The camera's been pointing at you the whole time. No, it's pointing at the. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. It's pointed at where stuff's gonna go. 
Good God. <laughs> We've got like three muffin tins left. Four muffin tins left, and we got a whole... Oh, the, the last uh, one you were working on. Was working on it. Yeah. Max just thought it might as well. We might actually use that big up. Nope. No, we won't. You know nothing. <laughs> we might actually use that big muffin tin. We have a gargantuan size muffin tin. It holds six muffins, but they're like the huge muffins you get like a, a uh, gas station yeah, or yeah. something. The ones that weigh like five pounds. Good God, these are no, those aren't coming off. That should be enough to fill this. Oh, yeah, I, I would think. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Is it heavy to hold there, sir? Sir. Now you gotta tilt it up kind of slow because it will run. Unlike me. Unlike me. I'll run. If by running you mean walking. Okay. And we are going to use the, uh, trying to get these more than a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's hard, it's hard to get them. You can see where they're about two thirds. I mean, it's, it's not, um, it's not rocket science to make muffins, but, um, so, yeah, I think I think we're gonna need to get our get our muffins worth. Yeah. One giant muffin. One giant muffin. Spread that bad boy. Good God, that's gonna make a giant muffin. But we gotta okay, now. You talk to the nice with people. the. Uh, with making the <laughs> the chips over the floor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> making these muffins, two things. It calls uh, for 17, uh, excuse me, 14 to 18 minutes. So I do them for 16, uh, and um, I'll also do it for I'll do it for like I guess we'll check the big muffin and see how it does. Uh, this is gonna be great. One giant muffin. I like the big muffin. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you do, <laughs> big man. Uh, there Thanks, we go, big man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll come back to you with giant, little, medium-sized, double fudge, extra chocolate chip muffins on Cooking with Carter. We'll see you in a minute. All right, Thank we're you. back on Cooking with Carter. The muffins are done. I want to show you a quick way to check and tell if your muffins are done. There's two ways you can do this. If you have a wooden skewer or a wooden toothpick. That is the best way to do it. Uh, I'm getting a phone call. Sorry about that, but we're going to just keep going. Uh, basically, all you do, I've got just a little short knife right here. Okay, it has nothing on it. All I'm going to do is stick my knife down the middle of this. And what you want to see, what came off of it is very dry. It's not runny. You can tell that the muffins are done. Now, how to get these out of here. Uh, what you want to do is just go around the edge you can you can try to see if they'll come out normally I'm not oh, sure it's how hot still I just took it out all right let's see if we can we'll see if we can dump them first oh, that's... probably going to need to go around the edge of them Now the way to do this, and Max, if you want to help out, is you just want to go around the edge. So that they don't stick. You just keep going around and they all should fall out. And you can tell when they're ready because your knife will show no resistance to going around. Doesn't break them up too, too bad. Okay. Okay. 
should be probably good. Gonna dump them out slowly and nicely. Seven crumbs everywhere. Oh, wait, they're still hot. Let's just want to talk to the folks. All right, so I got one muffin here. That's pretty nice. That That's one's done. Dumb. So let's start. Okay. You can see they're nice and chocolatey and probably on the inside. Yeah, the chocolate chips really made a difference. And you wanna, you wanna actually wanna let them cool a little bit more before you take them out too. That's, but the problem with doing that, when you let them cool like that, they have a risk of, of sticking more. So, double fudge chocolate muffins. A quick tip before we go: if you are worried that your muffins are gonna overflow, so you don't set the oven on fire. Um, Take a pan with with higher sides than your than your muffin pan and set it inside, so that the if anything does run over, it can actually catch it. You don't have to worry about that. Make sure the pan is wider than the one that's sitting on top of it too. Because mm -hmm. if not, you're just going to have two pans sitting inside of each other. Yeah, not like we had that issue or anything. Yep. But uh, that'll do it for this episode of Cooking with Carter. And remember, the meals we make are worth the wait. And I'll tell you this, we've got 68 subscribers and just about at 2,000 views. So we're working toward it. I'd like to say a special thanks to everybody for tuning in and keep those comments and questions coming. We'll see you next, next time on Cooking with Carter.